So uh, let's get started and um, see how we go about doing it. So hello. This class is uh, for everyone, anyone who's interested in uh, using videos for different purposes. So uh, right now you only see me and uh, presumably you hear me, but we're going to change that in one second. All right, so there's I am, okay? And um, I have to know where I'm looking. This is really important. The lighting has to be right. Everything has to be right. And you have to be in an appropriate place. And I'm not sure that I am. All right, but um, you should be in a lighted place where the light comes in from the back and where you're actually looking straight at the camera. Okay, that's really important, having eye contact. It's kind of hard in a virtual classroom. And we're going to be talking about screen sharing and how easy it is to actually create videos okay without having to go out and buy a camera okay so um, let me just um, get my PowerPoint up okay one second while I'm doing that I don't know if that's the right one. Yep, it looks like it's the right one. All right, another thing, if you're using a live class um, and you want to create a video during the screen sharing process, you may need to have a uh, video editor, but that, again, costs money, so I don't recommend it. YouTube video has a lot of features today that allow just that. All right, so uh, this session is Videos for Instruction and Learning. My name is Nellie Deutsch, and um, it's my honor and pleasure to be able to share everything that I know with others around the globe, and hopefully to learn as I share. All right, so um, how do you create video and audio tutorials for online courses? All right. Well, first of all, you have to think of a purpose, okay? Why would you want to create a video, okay? Why videos? Well, there are a few uh, reasons. One might be to recruit students because you can't very well have a course and teach unless you've got people to teach. Is, is that correct? Online. Well, the answer is uh, not really. Okay, you need people to watch whatever you create because that's the idea. But you don't really need to recruit students. You can actually share your videos on YouTube, uh, Facebook, other social networks, and people will watch them. But if we're talking about a course, okay, you do want to get students to come into your courses. The purpose may be business, maybe you want to market a certain product. In this case, you may want to actually market your course. Or you could also market yourself, and that's what we're going to do today. Um, that's going to be your weekly task, marketing what you do. Okay, it's not really you, um, unless you do something, right? So it's marketing what you do. You may also want to create videos for instruction. It's a lot easier to give instructions through uh, multimedia. Okay, words, images, audio, video. Okay, that's for instruction. If you want to make sure that people understand your point or what you want to teach them. Next is learning. You know, this is a technique to learn. And the question is always, you know, what is a teacher's role? Is it instruction? And to try to do their best to produce a video that is very instructive, <laughs> okay? Or is it learning? And it could be a combination of both. But when you create a video, think of what your purpose is, if it's teaching. Is it more on instruction or more on the student's end, which is actually 
learning okay or maybe somewhere in the middle is it for business purposes market to get to make money of course um, unless your business is all free I don't know if that could be called a business and of course recruit students any other reasons for creating a video okay now going viral uh, there is a book by a professor at the University of uh, Pennsylvania and the name of the book, here it is, the name of the book is, okay, I think you can see that, Contagious, and uh, the professor is, is Jonah Berger. And Jonah Berger wrote an incredible book on exactly that. What makes things go viral? Okay, is it funny things? Is it amazing, spectacular things? Is it when things are very helpful and unique or when there's a conversation on some kind of a controversy? Well, you'll have to read the book to get it, but the idea is conversation and not necessarily controversial. Things go viral when people talk about them. So it's not really online. It's actually when people talk about it everywhere, face to face, mostly. That's how it goes viral. And they talk about amazing things that they heard about or learned about. So think about videos and how you can make them viral by getting people to talk about whatever you're doing. Okay, that's the idea. So keep thinking. What kind of things uh, would people talk about? And again, the name of the book is Contagious by Jonah, J-O-N-A-H, Burger. Okay, I'm going to um, add that to the chat. Okay. Yes, yeah, social media. Thank you for adding that. Okay, so um, Jonah Berger. He's a young man, but he's already a professor. He, I don't know if he's over 30. And the name of the book is Contagious. And it's a great book. I've recommended it to a lot of people, and they're enjoying it. I know I've been reading it a few times. It's actually a way to make things viral, make money without investing anything. <laughs> That's the idea. The thought is that people will advertise for you and you actually don't have to do a thing. You just have to think of something that people will talk about. Okay, again, no investment, at least not money. Time, yes. Thinking, yes, but not money. All right, so let's get um, on with creating videos. I've, I've tried different ways of creating uh, videos, uh, including uh, with IQ classes, which is what I'm doing right now with um, Camtasia. And um, you'll see how this one comes out, but you can actually get the, your whiteboard to fit the frame. And frame is key when we talk about uh, screencasting as a way to create videos. In other words, you don't need to go and buy a camera, even though I've got some great cameras. I don't use them anymore. I use my cell phone. I've got a Samson now. I threw away my iPhone. And it takes great videos. But not only of whatever is outside, but it also takes photos and videos of the screen. And I'm talking about any screen, but generally it's an internet screen okay but it doesn't have to be it could be when you're off the internet you can actually also create um, and I'm going to show you you can also create a screencast okay so I'm going to go through uh, a screen sharing apparatus which I love I think it's great to be able to share screens because it takes us away from having to use a PowerPoint presentation, which isn't a bad thing, it's just time consuming. You can also create videos from your PowerPoint presentations. So when I say screen, I mean anything that's on your computer screen. And it doesn't matter what size we're talking about, any size screen, that's up to you. But the results are exactly the same. So I'm going to take you right now to my PowerPoint presentation. Okay, here it is. I'm on a Mac. 
I can make it larger. Okay, here I've got the tools if you're not familiar with Mac. I can make it larger and it'll fit. Okay, right now it's fitting the white board and then I can go through it as I screencast. But I don't like this method for screencasting. I prefer to add my videos to Google Drive. Okay, and um, here's uh, Google Drive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create, not here though, okay, but maybe yes here. I'm going to add a uh, few slides. Okay, I'm going to import a few slides to this current uh, choosing a platform video. Okay, so I'm going to upload them from my computer. Okay, um, from where this one was. Okay, and uh, the one that I'm going to take is uh, this one. Okay, here we go. It doesn't take long. I mean, you should really take advantage of the cloud and of Google because it takes away a lot of memory from your own computer. And you shouldn't, by the way, keep um, video files on your system because it really drains it. So keep it on Google Drive. All right, so here they are. Okay, here are the slides. I'm going to take them all. Okay, I've chosen eight slides. And notice where they go. Okay, they're not going to go here. They go just under whatever. Okay, so um, here they are. I'm going to move this further down. Okay, somewhere else. Okay, now what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to, and you're watching me as I screen share, I'm going to open my screencast o -matic. I'm going to go to the first slide here. Okay, here it is. There's my screencast o -matic. I'm going to move it. Okay, all you have to do is click in the center and it just moves. screencast o -matic has features that are amazing. Okay, absolutely amazing. You know, I often think about what a great company and how much they care. Or at least that's how it seems. Alright, so here I can get the size that I want. Um, I think I'll take full HD. HD is high definition. Okay, that's a pretty big one. That's what I usually use, but you can play around with it until you get what you want. And then I'm going to go into this present. Sorry if it's moving a bit. I'm going to go into present. Now notice under present here at the top right of the, it says present from beginning, present with speaker notes, present in a new window. This is what I use. Okay, and you'll see in a minute why. Okay, it gives me a nice, this way I don't have to worry about any anything really. Okay, so I'm doing this in both systems. You won't be able to hear me on Screencast-O-Matic because I'm on a Mac. Only Mac, uh, PCs, Windows allows you to also get third audio from your system. Okay, I don't have that capability. They don't have it yet. Okay, so let me... Uh, okay, so I'm going to start the recording. So it's going to be recording on um, Screencast-O-Matic. You see what happens. Okay, and then I'm going to take the drawing. Notice here's the drawing. You'll see this. Um, okay, and then I can do different things. Here are the tools. Okay, I can have a freehand arrow, box, oval, and so on. I like the arrows. People often ask. I can also change the color. Notice this color change here. Um, oh, this is one of my... Well, which color should I use? I think red is pretty good. But take a... Uh, the fact, take in mind that maybe some people are colorblind, so we have to cater to their needs. So be careful. All right, so here we are. Uh, depending on your background, so I'm going to say uh, this is this. I can also make it, okay, I can make it wider. Notice, wide as wide as I want it to be. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, I can make it wider. So let me do it again. Ooh, see, that's a different effect. Okay, and I can also, of course, this will erase when I... Okay, so notice that. Isn't that amazing? You can change the color, of course. So there are lots of options. You can also erase. There, it's gone. All right, I can change the color to something else. 
Okay, it's up to you. Change the width. Okay, here we go. All right. So there are a lot of features, and these are very helpful. And the question is, for instruction, learning, both. You don't need a camera, but a camera is good too. You can take photos and then you can screencast, okay, using the photos. So let me uh, continue with our slides, okay? So I need to um, click on this one here. Let me show you where. I need to click here to get back, and that's something we need to remember. I also need to um, not click on done, because that means done. I don't want to restart either, okay? So be careful. I uh, There's also a button here. Okay, you can see that. I don't want to click on that unless I want it to stop because something is uploading really slowly. So I'll stop it. It'll stop. It see, it's paused. Or I need to cough or blow my, I don't know, something. I need to go out and come back. I can stop, see, it's paused. And then in order to continue, I click on restart. And then it says delete. I don't want to delete. So what do I do? I don't want to delete. I don't want to say it's done because it's not. So I go back to continue recording. Hover your mouse over. You don't have to remember anything. Okay, so there I do that. And now it's actually it's not starting over. It's continuing where it left off. So I want to go to the next slide. Remember, we're up here. So let me get rid of uh, this. I want to go to the next slide. So here are the uh, arrows down here, slides. Slide number two, and I can talk about that, and then slide number three, okay, and so on. So that's the idea. Okay, let me uh, leave that, okay, and go back to uh, class, okay, to the screencast, and um, I'm on WizIQ. I'm going to stop the screen sharing, okay? If you have any questions, um, please add them as we go. All right, so um, this was Screencast-O-Matic. I also use Camtasia. Camtasia for Macs is $99, and uh, for uh, Windows, it's uh, a lot more. I think it's twice that. I wouldn't buy it. It's not worth it. I bought it before I knew about Screencast-O-Matic. It's really not worth it if you're using a Mac you don't need Camtasia. You don't need Screencast on a Mac. If you want to actually uh, record a WizIQ, <coughs> excuse me, live class, all you need to do is use, if you're using a Mac, <coughs> excuse me, all you need to do is use what's called QuickTime Player, but only on a Mac. A QuickTime Player allows you to record a live class on WizIQ for free. Okay, so why buy Camtasia? And Screencast-O-Matic is also free. And if you want to use the tools, I think it costs something like $10 a year. And for three years, it's like $29. It's ridiculously cheap and it's worth it. And it's almost like a donation to help them improve things. And I think that's something that I would want to do. All right, so I'm going to leave my... Um, Stop screen sharing here. I mean, stop the um, screencast-o-matic and show you what happens when I stop the screencast-o-matic. All right. So uh, let me screen share again so you see what happens when I stop the screencast-o-matic. I already told you how I stop it. I stop it by clicking on done. Okay, that's how it's done. Okay, so I click on done. Next, what happens once I do that? Okay, uh, when I do that, okay, I think I lost it. Uh, let's see if I lost it. I may have lost it. Yeah, um, I did lose it for some reason. So here it is again. Okay, here is my um, screencast. I'm going to click on start here on the red button. Okay, it's going. And then I'm going to click on done. Okay, here's done so I can stop it. Okay, so here it is. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm a pro, but as I said, I think it's worth it. Uh, this is what you can do. Okay, first of all, this is what I recorded. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, and then I'm going to take the drawing. Notice here's the drawing. 
you'll see this um, okay and then I can do different things here are the tools okay you probably heard that but it's not the other way around okay so this is what I can do I give it a name so I'm gonna call it demo okay demo 8 because I'm not sure whether there's another demo notice I can also um, edit and that's really really important to be able to edit right here I can once I get it up I can edit I can cut things I can trim around you can't do this anywhere and this is completely free unless you want the uh, drawing tools and that's ten dollars a year uh, transition I can edit the audio imagine okay and then I click on done when I'm done okay so these are really great tools I can also resize the video right now I told you it's um, high definition Let's go back to the recording so you get an idea. All my recordings are saved on Screencast-O-Matic, which means I don't have to waste memory. Okay, so it's going through to, it's going back, okay, uh, but actually it's recording, so uh, that's not what we want. Okay, so let's go back to, um, okay, so here it is. Um, I'm going to go back to the other recordings. I don't know if I can do that here. I'll try. Okay, won't let me. Okay, so let me uh, show it to you from here. It's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to take the drawing. Notice here's the drawing. You'll see this. Um, okay, and then. Okay, it keeps recording. All right, we don't want that. Okay, it keeps recording because that's where I am. But let me take you to um, the tools, okay, the pro tools, because that's what I have right now. Okay, and then I'm going, okay, the pro tools. Now, what's nice about it is the fact that you can also take screenshots, and there are lots of options, okay, and your preferences, of course, is up to you. So I suggest you take it, you uh, take a look at it. You can also have, I believe, um, you can try the Pro, just try it out without having to pay anything. They're really not about money. I don't know what they're about, but they're certainly not about uh, money. Okay, so uh, I hope that's been of help. I'm not going to recommend Okay, here we go. I'm not going to recommend anything else that costs money because I don't think that's um, what we want to do. If, if you want to make money, you first have to be able to um, make money and not invest. And I don't think the teachers need uh, to do that. Okay, so um, let's stop screen sharing and continue. Okay, as I said, this is Camtasia. I don't recommend it. I know a lot of people use it. I use it myself, um, but because I have it. Otherwise, I wouldn't use it. I would not invest money in Camtasia. Definitely not. All right, so what happens once you um, create a video with Screencast-O-Matic? you upload yes not download people often get confused you upload okay up from your computer because it's going to be a file on your computer and i suggest you delete it and keep it on screencast o -Matic. what's nice unlike camtasia which keeps everything on your computer uh, screencast o -Matic video files do not remain on your computer they remain on unless you want them there Okay, if you've got some videos that you want to keep uh, away from others and you want to uh, safe keep them on your computer, that's fine. You can do that, but you don't have to. Okay, so what you do is you upload from your computer if you need to. But if you've got Screencast-O-Matic, you don't have to do anything. It does it automatically. Not, not only on YouTube, uh, Screencast-O-Matic also allows you to share and they do it automatically again to share on Vimeo. I don't know if you're familiar with Vimeo. It's also great. It's like YouTube, 
but I don't know. I think it's cleaner. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. But um, it's nice. Okay. Um, I really like it. And I've been using this also uh, Blip TV. I used to use Blip TV. Um, I don't use it as often. Okay, so let's screen. Okay, so this is um, Screencast-O-Matic and Pro. You simply um, create an account. Okay, there's information about it. You can also download and install on your Mac. It recognizes that I have a Mac. Or on your PC, there are more features on PC if you're going Pro. So I'm going to log in, but you don't have to. You can start recording without really doing very much. But I'm going to show you um, mine. Okay, so let me go in uh, with my email. You can also get a, you know, get the pro with a few people if you want, but it's just too cheap to even think about. But Something to think about when you're getting, um, trying to get things that may be expensive programs. You can do it with someone else and you can both go in. All right, so go Pro Tools. Okay, let's take a look at the tools. Notice it's an applet, Java, you need to enable it. Okay, you see, I have to uh, run the applet. And Java. This is because I'm on a. Um, okay, it wants me to upload to. Okay, but I'm not going to go through that because uh, it's a bit uh, too much right now. Okay, I can also install. I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to show you what's here. Okay, the pro tools. Okay, you can also do this yourself. So you can actually record on the cloud or you can record within your system. I have it both ways. Okay, and um, here are some of the features. Oh, sorry, Pro is $15 a year, but I know for three years it's $29 or something, so uh, check that out. I think that's what I did. Okay, and I notice what you have here. Unlimited time. If you're recording with a Pro, it's unlimited, which is amazing because I've got videos of three hours Okay, and if you can't upload them to YouTube, and you don't need such long videos, but uh, if you're trying to uh, record a class of an hour, two hours, it's important. If you can't upload it to YouTube because you don't have rights to YouTube, you can upload it to um, Vimeo. Their feedback is great if you've got questions or information that you'd like them to check out or you're having um, some problems. They're very good with um, their support. Okay, I see that there's a problem with my um, right now. You never know if you're on a Mac. That's why I suggest that you um, use a Windows if you've got a Windows. There are a lot more features, even with Screencast-O-Matic. Everything else seems to come a bit later uh, with the Macs. All right, so again, you upload to YouTube. If you want, you can download Screencast-O-Matic to your system, which is what I have. It makes it a lot easier, but it's not necessary. All right, so that's the downloading again. Screencast-O-Matic is a lot better on a PC than it is on a Mac. But then Mac has other things. All right, your task. Okay, this is the important part. Listening to me is not the way to learn. The way to learn is to 
actually do something so that you can sustain learning. What you need is a headset. Microphone should be included in a webcam for this particular task. For the screen sharing um, videos, you don't need a webcam unless you want to have one. Not necessary. Uh, I would try things out before just a little bit with a screencast uh, omatic so that things work properly and then just check your settings to make sure everything's working and then you create a video you're going to create a bio this is really important for you so that people get to know you you want to have a presence so you're able to recruit students we mentioned this at the beginning so your bio is very very important you're going to use screencast-o-matic okay and if you have any questions i'm here to help are there any questions Okay, so I'm going to um, open the chat for questions. You couldn't see the... Um, are you using a Mac, by the way? You'll be able to see this on the recording uh, that I'm doing on YouTube, as well as the WizIQ recordings. If you are unable to see the screencasting, No PC? No, you're on a PC. All right. So you may want to check. It's always good to check the plugins. Do you know what plugins are? Do you know what plugins? Well, plugins are programs that facilitate. They make your computer experience, your audio, video, and visual. It's not a card, but they make your multimedia, audio, video, and images appear in their best format. In other words, it makes everything a lot better. So you should have this in mind. Make sure that um, your Java is updated. Everything, always update. You know, people, I, there was a time when I wasn't updating, and then my, my family members, husband and son, what you're not updating and then when i had problems they say well that's the reason you have to update when your computer asks for updates it knows what it needs okay so keep updating it's really really important so you've got to update and it usually asks you to update your flash shockwave flash there's also shock wave um adobe you also have to update your java Okay, so keep updating. You also have to, if you're using a Chrome, I don't know what browser you're using, but you also have to update your Chrome, especially for WizIQ, because the new features are for the new Chrome. So you do have to pay attention to uh, the messages that your computer sends you and update, update, and update. Okay, really important. Also, cleanup. You might want to get a cleanup. I use uh, C Cleaner. It's completely free. You need this to clean your system. Okay, C Cleaner. It's completely free. Just wondering if you record the sound after you transfer the images. What do you mean record? The sounds come together. Um, Screencast Matic does everything for you. You're actually doing nothing except playing around with the uh, drawing tools, which is so easy, too, because it stops it and you can play around. It doesn't go. So you can draw on the screen. Okay, so everything happens at the same time. You have everything set, what you want to do, your PowerPoint, or the uh, websites that you want to visit, you open up Screencast-O-Matic. It's just a frame that opens up. You get it to the right size, uh, which you'll see in the recordings, and then, and that's it. You just go from slide, from slide to slide, or from uh, screen to screen, from one website to another website, from one image to another image. And if you've got something dynamic, it'll pick up the dynamic. If you've got animations, it'll pick up the animations too. So what it does, what you see is what your screencast-o-matic window will pick up when you start, when you click on the red button record. 
So have you had any experiences with Screencast-O-Matic? If not, you're going to love it. Okay, so Screencast, it's great for face-to-face -face classes .com. It's great for um, the blended classroom and, of course, for the flipped classroom where it's really important to uh, create videos for your students. Excellent. 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 There are a lot of features, so keep the questions going for this week as you create. And you did a wonderful job on the uh, previous one. I didn't want to wasn't sure whether I could show it, but choosing a platform, that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. And I asked if you could make it so I can add comments and maybe share it with others, make it public. I don't know, that's up to you, but so that people can add their comments to it, if you like, rather than just viewing it, okay? There's that option on Google Drive. All right, so that's your work for the week. I'm looking forward to it. And um, have a wonderful rest of the weekend and a wonderful week. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.